Welcome. All right, so what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x when we're given a polygon. And we have you know, these expressions for the angles. Um, first of all, we see that we have two 90 degree angles, right? So when we have the box, that represents um, the angle measure of 90 degrees. Then we have these two expressions where this angle is 4x and this angle is 2x. So the first thing we need to rem you know, understand is what is going to be the sum of all of these angles. And that is all based on the number of sides. And we can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4 sides. Now, Hopefully, by the end of this course, you should automatically know what the sum is for a quadrilateral. But if you don't, we at least need to know this formula that we can always use um, to figure out the sum of the interior angles based on the number of sides, where s represents the sum of the interior angles and n represents the number of sides. So all I'm simply going to do is say s equals 4 minus 2 times 180 degrees, s equals 2 times 180 degrees, so s equals 360 degrees. Now, whenever we have a variable, um, the main important thing is we want to solve for that variable, so we need to set up an equation. We need to write an equation. So what I notice is the sum of all these angles is 360 degrees. That means, remember, sum is addition. This plus this plus this plus this is going to equal 360 degrees. So I'll simply write 2x plus 4x plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 360 degrees. And I know a lot of times, you know, it's kind of a little bit more work, but I can't tell you how many times I see mistakes from students, and it's basically, you know, them not wanting to put in that extra effort to write the equation. Um, and that's really going to help you out because now I can combine like terms. So 2x plus 4x is 6x. 90 plus 90 is 180 equals 360 degrees. Now I have a two step equation that to solve for x, the first thing I need to do is subtract 180 on both sides. Therefore, I have 6x equals 180 degrees. Now, just divide by 6, divide by 6. x equals 30 degrees. So therefore, if I needed to solve for either one of these angles, I could plug in 30 degrees. But in this case, I'm just looking for the value of x, which is 30 degrees. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for your missing variable of a polygon. Thanks.